Okay, we're going to continue our study uh, concerning prayer and uh, uh, praying according to the will of the Father. And, you know, it's important to understand that uh, we do need to, to find out the will of the Father in a certain situation before we even pray. See, if you, as, as I shared in our last video, uh, talking about the fact is, uh, as we read in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4, the Apostle Paul, writing to uh, Timothy, said that uh, it was, uh, well, let me just read the verse again. It says, For uh, who will have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, uh, that it's the will of the Father that all people, all men, men and women, be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Well, I've shared with you, just because it's the will of the Father that all men be saved, we know that all men and women aren't being saved, and that's because you and I have a, a part to play in this. We have to believe that, and, and not only believe that, but to receive that in, uh, that truth into our lives. And so your will is involved with uh, the decision, say, of you being saved or being lost. Um, it's, it's the decision for, for, from our Creator has already been made, whether uh, it's His will that all people be saved or not. It's already clear, clearly stated in this verse here that it's all His will that all men be saved. But again, we have a part to play. And But once we know what the will of the Father is in any situation, we can have confidence in our prayer life that not only will he hear us in our prayers, but that we'll have the things that we petition him for. So as an example, a, an unsaved person, when we preach the gospel to them, you know, they may have this kind of uh, idea in their thinking that, you know, they're, they, they've lived such a bad life that there's no way that they could be saved and, and uh and go to heaven because of the terrible things they've done in their own personal lives. And so they lack the knowledge or the understanding that the scripture, what it has to say. So it takes the revelation of scripture revealing the will of the Father to that person so in order for them to have faith that if they pray the prayer of faith concerning salvation, that they can have those petitions that they desired of our Father. So when you tell a person that, say, has that thinking that they're, they've lived such a bad life, there's no way that they can, you know, ever find acceptance from the Creator, then all you have to do is, first of all, is point out to them that even though that they uh, are a sinner, but the Scripture teaches we've all sinned, doesn't matter what kind of good life that a person has led, they're still a sinner. And they're in need of a Savior. And so with that understanding, then they can also help them to understand that it's the will of the Father that all men be saved. And that would include them. All means all. So if it says all, it's his will that all men be saved, then that would include everyone. So once they find that out and they gain that knowledge and that understanding, automatically faith is present for that person to act upon that. As I've shared with you in the past, the scripture says, without faith, it's impossible to please him. If you want to please the Father, then you have to understand that you have to believe what he says. And the only way that you can find out what he says is to know what the scripture has to say, because it is, it, it is his word. It is, the, the, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word is God, or Yahuwah. See, him and his word are the same. Uh, the Messiah, Mashiach, said, It is the spirit that quickens. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak into you, they are spirit, or they are ruach, and they are life. The word of our Creator has life in it. And so when, when a person puts their faith and trust in what the Scripture has to say, then it, it can, they can uh, receive the benefits uh, uh, of what the word has to say in their situation. So once a sinner finds out that it's the will of the Father to save them, then automatically faith is there. But they have, once faith is there, it's, it, 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 uh, they have to act upon that faith. You know, faith without works is dead. That's, that's what faith is. That's what works is all about. It's works of faith, not works of, of doing good works in order to, um, to find acceptance. You're not saved by works. You're saved by grace, by faith. 
Your works are, or good works are a result of your faith. See, your faith, your, your works reveal what you really truly believe. So uh, I hope this is helping you to understand that, you know, that uh, we have a part to play. Our part is to find out what the will of the Father is first. And then once we find out what his will is, then we can pray in faith, knowing that the things that we pray about, that he hears us. And because we know that he's heard us, we know that we have those petitions that we desire of him. Now, we focused on salvation. I've talked a little bit about uh, knowing the will of the Father concerning, say, divine healing of your body. The scripture teaches, and we'll go on more in this in the next few uh, videos that I'll do, but it, we know that it's the will of the Father that all, uh, that, uh, all the sick be healed. But it's the same thing. Just because it's his will that all the sick be healed doesn't mean all the sick are being healed. And, but the scripture clearly teaches, if you do the study, you'll see that it's the will of the Father to heal the sick. It's his will. But all the sick aren't being healed. And that's because we as individuals have our part to play in believing what the scripture has to say in order to receive the benefits of what it says. We'll pick this up on our next uh, uh, session. So thank you again. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And uh, please also uh, share my videos uh, with your friends and on Facebook. And, uh, and I appreciate all that. I appreciate all your support. And thank you for all your uh, com comments and uh, kind remarks. I do appreciate that very much. Until next time, shalom.